Building with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. As you can see, we have laid out for where the plumber is going to be cutting the floor so that he can do his underground work. We have done the framing, but we can't get an inspection until we get the underground work done and the top out. All right, so this is how he cuts it. How we do the layout is we locate outside where the existing sanitary lines are. And then we mark out where we're going to put our stuff and bring it over to where the existing lines are. So when we dig this up, we're going to be attaching to existing <laughs> cut through the concrete and locate the existing lines. We dig out all the soil, move it out of our way, and then determine where we're going to re-put the walls back up. And for our toilets, we have to make sure that we are a minimum of 12 inches off the existing wall. So we chop out the concrete, remove it, dig out the soil, leave it there because we're going to backfill it. And then once we determine how deep the pipes are, we're able to then figure out exactly how we're going to run our pipe to meet and tie in to the existing sanitary lines. As you can see, we have located the sanitary lines that are underneath the slab, and then we lay out and start to put our pipe together. As per the drawings, so that our labs are in the correct place, our urinals, the toilets, we have to run all this piping all together. Okay, now we're putting in our piping, tying into the existing line, making sure we have the right slope. This is where all the toilets are going to be going. And then the vent pipes that are going to be going above. We run the string line so we know that's where the wall was going to be. So we put everything in the correct locations. Okay, now we're running for our other sinks. We have one that goes across the hallway. So we trenched across the hallway, and now we're going to run this drain line across to catch the other sink. One person holds the one end in, while the other one levels the top, so when the pipe comes up out of the ground, that it is plumb and that they have the correct pitch. They work together, bringing this in. Okay, now that they're tying everything in together and we're completing the underground, we have to fill those clean outs with the air pressure ball, fill up the pipes with water, and get our underground inspection. Now that we have our inspection, we start backfilling all the holes. We put in all the soil that it can take, and then we remove the rest from the job site. Now that we have replaced all the soil, we have to do the soil poisoning. And we get a certificate for this to show the inspector that we did this. We're going to let it soak overnight, before we start to get this ready to pour the concrete. If you look closely, you can see where we have already doweled the rebar in the slab. Okay, we did this while we were waiting for them to come and do the soil poisoning. 
All right, now that we have all the dowels in and we got our certificate, now we're going to put our six mil plastic down and our six by six mesh. You make sure that your rebar is an inch and a half below the slab and that you tie in your wire onto your rebar. But this is the six mil visqueen that we cut and put on top of the soil first. Once we put everything together, then we call for an inspection. We're waiting on the inspector now. Once he gives us the okay, we're going ahead and getting this poured. We're going to mix this by hand because it's not a lot of material. It's probably the most you want to mix by hand, but it's real simple. We have a small mixing machine that'll do us very well with this. Okay, now we have our inspection. Let's mix our concrete and start pouring. Now that we've poured our concrete, we're going to let it sit overnight and start framing these areas up so that we can get ready for the top out. We're going to move quickly through this so that we can start getting our complete inspections. The framing up the next day, the plumber came in the following day behind us and he just started running all his top out. He's moving pretty quickly. As you can see, the vent lines going up and over to the other side, our drain lines are in. Getting all the PVC run first. See, that's a large vent line that goes up to the top, which actually ties into the other end of the building, because in this existing building, already had a vent line that ran all the way up to the roof that we had to tie into. Here you're just running all the way back, way back to that wall and tying it in. This is the other sink that's across the hallway. Here's where we tied it in, all the way to the back, to the pipe that's going all the way to the roof. It was very convenient. There's a little pressure here, no? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh, Real plumber at work. You don't <laughs> okay, the plumber is now running the water lines. And he's actually putting the stops on now because we're pushing him to get his top out inspection. So he has to have all the water lines run, fill them with water and all the PVC pipes have to also be filled with water to show the inspector that we do not have any leaks. So in order to do that, you put your pressure balls in the clean outs and then fill everything with water. When the inspector comes tomorrow morning, we're able to prove to him that we've done a good job.
If you see the pressure ball is in that orange thing, we fill it up with air. The ball fills up with air and holds the pipe so that we can fill the pipe with water and no water comes out so we can prove to the inspector that there are no leaks. All right, we're buttoning everything up and we're getting an inspection. This way we can also then get the electrical, then get my framing inspection, and then we will be able to hang drywall. We're moving to, through this project pretty quickly. I'm very happy with it. But we will find out the next challenges as we move forward. Well, that's your plumbing. All your plumbing rough, underground, and top out is complete. You can see all the water lines. The red is hot. The blue is cold. And everything is tied in very nicely. And we got signed off by our inspector. So we're getting ready to move on to the next step. Okay. Building with Papa. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. I'll see you on the next one. I hope you like this journey. We have much, much more to do. All right. Bye.